What is going on everybody? Spartan Overdrive here with a completely inclusive ultimate tutorial on structure blocks. If I can remember everything there is to tell you, I have been working with these things for quite a while now and I'm going to show you all the shortcuts, tips and tricks to make your life pleasant because these things can be a little bit of a booger to work with uh, so let's get some disclaimers out of the way these things aren't perfect there's a lot of things I would change about them if I could but it is what it is so let's work with what we've got you need to be on a single player world or if you're on a server you have to have administrative privileges uh, this is only going to work for Java version of PC Minecraft that I'm aware a Mac should be completely compatible with everything that I'm saying here uh, with the exception of when we go to the desktop in a little bit, that'll be a little bit different. I don't have a Mac. You're going to have to figure it out for yourself. All right, let's jump right into it. As you can see, there is a animation going on in the background. That's one of the cool things that we can do with structure blocks. Let me show you briefly how I do that, and then we can dive into the structure blocks themselves. Down here, you can just see I've got a simple array of redstone going around and all this is doing is it's just timing the loading of this so we have saved a bunch of uh, windmill frames a bunch of blades and it's just basically pasting one over another over another in the timing that I've set out right here so that's really all there is to it so how do we do this let's jump into it there's a couple things I want to show you here real quick all right let's say that we want to move this custom tree that we've made here in my single player world maybe i want to move it to another location maybe i want to share it with you guys as i always do how do i do that how do you guys do the same thing the first thing you're gonna to have to do is get a structure block and to do that you're gonna to need to uh, use a command it's type slash like i just did there to open up the command line and we're gonna say give space tab space S-T-R-U space B-L-O-C-K. All right, so there we go. Now we've got ourselves a nice little structure block. I'm gonna use two structure blocks because that's the easiest way to show you guys if you're new at it. There are other ways of doing this stuff, but, uh, but let's do it the easy way, why don't we? I'm gonna find the corner of this build. Let's say that it's gonna be right here actually because we wanna include the root system here. And then on this side, let's find the corner. And I highly recommend as you're playing with these to do the same thing that I'm doing here in a backup world because you can have a bad time if you don't do this correctly. We're gonna go ahead and start with this one up here and it doesn't matter which one switch, but I, I like to start with this one. We've got a four different modes. We've got data mode, which nobody uses. I don't even know what it's used for. We got save mode, which is what you think we're gonna start with, but I'm actually gonna go two more past the load mode into the corner mode and I'm gonna call this test. Now keep in mind, this is the important thing that I learned recently. Some kind of change has been made to where you need to use all lowercase letters and numbers, no spaces. Uh, let's say we call this large pine tree by Spartan. That's a really long name to, to say. So we have to copy that thing exactly several times. So in order to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control A to select the whole thing and then Control C to copy. And that's just gonna make it a lot easier on me. That's if you have a big long name because sometimes that can happen, especially with animations. But in this case, it's easy. I'm gonna just go with test and I'm gonna say I'm done. This is the corner of our test structure. Then I'm gonna drop back down here and I am gonna hop into this one right here and I'm gonna say, Let's go to save because that's what we're doing, right? And I'm going to paste in test and then I'm going to say detect. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull up a bounding box to show you your outline. And as we look right here, we're actually too far inside right here and right here. Uh, let's look around this side. It's, it's a little far on this side, isn't it? So we went a little too far. So we can move our blocks. And I want to show you a quick little tip on how to do that super, super easy. Well, instead of having to type in everything all over again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold the control button and then I'm going to click on it with my middle mouse button to select it. See how it has that purple plus MBT? That means it has data already written in it. So if I would have placed this one down, look what happens. It goes back and we had to go through the whole process, rename it, all that kind of stuff. But if I place this one, it's going to have, it's going to come up in the exact same way that the old one did. So hold control when you select it, if you have to move something like this, right? That makes the first thing that you got to do super easy. So we got to move this one too. We're going to do the same thing. Hold control and select. And now we've got this exact block with all the data in it. I need to move it out this way in one direction and I need to move it this way in one direction. One direction? I didn't even know they were gonna be a part of this tutorial. All right, now we've got it loaded in correctly, but if you notice 
over here. Let me show you real quick. It's actually moved the box around and it's not lining up correctly. This corner here should be matching up with that corner right there. And it's not because I have not detected it again. If I select it again and hit detect. All right, now we will double, triple, quadruple check and make sure all of these things line up so that this structure is completely inside of, uh, of the box there. Let's click on this and click save. Now it's officially saved as test. So what if we wanna load this in somewhere? Well, let's do that. Okay, and then we are going to the load. All right, we're in the load screen. Let's type it in exactly as it was a minute ago, test. And then I'm gonna hit load one time. I'm only gonna hit it once, and it's gonna show me the bounding box of where it's gonna load. The next time we hit it, it will load, certainly. So we know we don't want it to be right here because it's gonna put the trunk right over this, right? I don't mind if these are underneath the leaves or something, like if this thing gets pasted in down here somewhere, no big deal, but I don't want it to overwrite this right so let's move it let's move it over a little bit now how do we know which way to move it if you hit f3 you're going to see a little icon come up in the middle it's kind of like a graph with all different colors red represents the x-axis in this direction green represents the y-axis in this direction and blue represents the z-axis in this direction so all we need to do now is know what that means well this here is your relative position right you're going to have a x and a y and a z so we just discussed that Let's go ahead and move this thing now. I'm gonna move it in this direction along that blue axis, which is our Z axis, right? And it always goes in order of X, Y, Z. Since I'm moving it left in the Z axis there, I'm moving it towards that central point where they all connect. It's gonna to need, to, need to be a negative value. If I were moving it towards the outside of the, the little point where they all connect, then it would be in a positive value. And that doesn't matter which way you're facing, it's always gonna be that way, right? So we're going to go in here and we're gonna move it uh, a negative value. And then I've gotta decide how much I wanna move that. And I'm just for this example, let's say, let's say eight works, okay? I don't wanna hit load because it will actually load. Let's just hit done and see what happens. All right, so it's gonna overlap this a little bit, probably a little too much. I think the root system and the trunk is gonna be right around here. I wanna move it over just a little bit more, just, just in case. I think we'll be okay. Uh, if we move it over just a couple other blocks, right? Or a couple more blocks. So let's move it a negative 10, okay? And now we look at it one more time and it looks like this will be under the canopy, but I think we'll be okay, right? So I'm gonna hit load and that's gonna load it in. And oh my goodness, look at the mistake I made. I can't believe I did that. Oh guys, it's horrible. No, I'm just joking. Did that on purpose to <laughs> show you guys what would happen. It overwrote this whole thing, right? it actually saved the error itself. So we want to get rid of that. We don't wanna save the error. We don't want the error to overwrite any of our builds. So how do we how do we fix that? Well, let me, let me show you how right now. We're gonna need another block called a structure void block. I'm gonna tell it to give me structure void and then hit enter. And now I've got this new block. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and place it everywhere that there's error. And as you can see, it's invisible but there's a little bounding box, right? That's a pain in the rear. That's gonna be impossible, right? Well, that's okay. We've got a fix for that. If we go back into our structure block here, the original one that we did the save, we can say show invisible blocks on, and you probably saw in the top corner there, all these blue blocks come up everywhere. That is insaneous, right? Well, let's look down here and you see a few of them are actually red. That's where we place these things. Well, we can actually place these everywhere now and we can see where we're placing them. So that's real helpful. But you know what's not helpful? It's having to place all these things because that is gonna be a very big pain in your backside. You don't wanna do that. So here is your next tip of how to make this thing go a lot faster. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a block in this bottom corner. While looking at this block, I'm gonna go back into our command uh, line by hitting slash and I'm going to say fill space tab, space tab, space tab. And that is your next shortcut. Uh, it's gonna be a lot faster to do it that way. That's half of the command. I need to go somewhere else to get the other half. So I'm gonna hit Control A to select that whole thing, Control C to copy it, and then I'm going to escape out of that screen, and I'm gonna go up here to this other corner, and I'm gonna place another block right underneath here in this corner. 
Now, once I have that, as I look at it, we're going to do the same thing we did a minute ago. This time, before I do anything, I'm going to hit backspace, and then I'm going to hit control V. If you have two slashes at the beginning, just delete one of them. It won't work with two. At this point, I can just continue the same thing I did a minute ago, space, tab, space, tab, space, tab, and that's the coordinate that you need in the other corner. And now I want to fill this entire structure, right? So I'm going to fill it with what? We're going to fill it with structure void blocks, of course. So Minecraft structure void and for some reason you have to hit zero if we hit enter right now it's going to just override that tree it's going to delete it it's going to replace it with nothing but structure void blocks we don't want to do that we want to replace the air only and now i can hit enter and it's going to replace only the air and as you can see all those blue blocks turned red now all i need to do is add one more right here in this corner and drop down here and do the same thing in this corner and if i want i can go ahead and turn my invisible blocks back off and you can't even tell I did anything but what I do want to do is go ahead and save this one more time because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna load it back in and see what a difference it makes alright let's load it in right here let's just pretend for some reason we want a, tri a tree in the middle of our path here makes no sense I know but it's okay we're gonna go ahead and place it in the ground right here and then I'm gonna go back into the load like we did a minute ago enter the name of it and hit load one time to see where it's gonna populate that looks like a good area we're gonna hit load and we're gonna hit load one more time and there we go so see the way we did it earlier it would have actually overwritten and deleted this entire thing now it is still going to delete the parts that the uh, the structure hits it's just not going to delete the part that is taken up by the air and we just kind of lucked out right here that the leaves didn't intersect uh, because the leaves would have deleted whatever blocks they intersected but the air blocks no longer do that so I advise always using the structure void block trick when you are uh, importing something like a tree now sometimes you don't want to do that you want to save the air blocks and copy them on top of the old structure because you want to do something like these animations right here if we didn't save the air blocks themselves and have them overwrite this windmill each time then it would just be copying and pasting new ones leaving the old ones where they were and it wouldn't make sense at all so you actually want to completely delete the old frame with the new frame and that's when you would not want to use the structure void blocks but Anytime you're doing a tree or something like that, I recommend using structure void blocks. So that's how you move things around in your world. But what if I wanted to move that tree into someone else's world? What if I wanted to share it with them? Or what if, what if you watch all of my videos and you see how I give all these things to you and you don't know how to put them in your own world? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. What we need to do is get to our desktop. So I'm going to control tab out of here. All right, now that we are on the desktop, all we got to do is go find that file. Where did where did Minecraft save that file? Well, it's in the .minecraft folder like everything else. How do you find that? Well, you need to go into your search bar. You need to go into your search bar and type in percent app data percent. Hit enter and it will pull up a folder with .minecraft in it. Open that folder and you may want to save this on your desktop, a link to this folder. Uh, that way you will be able to access it much easier in the future once you're in dot minecraft then you need to go ahead and go to your saves folder and this is where all of your world saves are so be very careful with this the save that i just made was in my hybrid craft single player world so i'm going to go into that and then i'm going to go to structures if you don't have any structures in your world that folder will not be present you may have to create a structure for us or just create that folder uh, in your save file uh, for your particular world now you can see I do this quite a bit for quite a while so uh, the next step is to find this thing but if you just started doing these you're probably only going to have the one so what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to hold control as I drag this out to the desktop and what that's going to do is it's going to copy it because I don't want to take it out of this because then it wouldn't be available in my world anymore but now it's available in my world and wherever else I want it so if you're getting one of these files from me, then you need to make sure you have a uh, structure folder in your world save file. And then you can just go ahead and drag it in and use it in your world, just like we showed you how to load them in a moment ago. If this is something you think you're going to be into, you want to uh, get some more inspiration, get creative and see how you can use these structure blocks. Maybe you can come up with some uses. Uh, and some neat ways and tricks of doing things that I haven't thought of yet. I have a Discord community that we like to share this stuff. And let me see if I can open that up. There will be a link in the description below. I have a channel called MBT Build Sharing just for this kind of stuff. If you can uh, upload and download other people's 
uh, files just to put them in your world and kind of get inspiration from each other. I ask that you include a picture with your file so that we know what we're going to be downloading. And occasionally I pick some of these files to put in my own world and change them up to make them my own. So maybe, maybe I'll pick yours. Guys, I know that was a lot of information, a lot to take in, but I know a lot of you were wanting that for quite a while. So hopefully that helped you out. Those are all the tips and tricks that I have to make it quick, easy, and simple as possible. If you have any more, please let me know down below because I'm always looking to better my way and to get a little bit more creative. On that note, guys, until next time, take care and as always, keep it creative.